So in this in this first part of the project, we're going to take a look at sprite creation. And one of the things that I want you to take a look at down here is in this sprite area, you're going to have a collection as you start a project of different sprites that are being used inside. And so right now, by default, Scratch opens to a the Scratch Cat and a single sprite. And if you go to Costumes next to the code tab up at the top left, you'll see that this sprite already comes with two costumes. And in fact, if you go look inside different sprites, if you hover over them while you're while you're selecting them, you'll see ones that have different costumes already built in. Okay, so these ones that are animating have multiple costumes. All right, in fact, if I were to select one and I were to look at its costume, I would see that this one has four four different costumes and each one has a name batter a listed right here batter b batter c and batter d and inside each one of these you have components this is this is a vector drawing so there are two different types of graphics there are vectors and there are bitmaps a bitmap as you can see down here a bitmap is kind of like a a photo or a painting where items are placed on the onto the canvas and they other than being resized they can't really be manipulated but in a vector image you have different components and I'm going to zoom in here and show you and the components themselves can actually be not only changed in size but if I were to click on this icon right here Look at all these different points. These points can be adjusted as well. And so you can get much finer detail and the ability to modify uh, using vector images. Plus when you resize them, their resolution stays crisp. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll cover vector images mostly in this, in this video today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this sprite for now. And I'm actually going to get rid of the cat sprite as well. I'm just going to start from the library. Um, I could also go upload something, like I could take an image if I wanted to go upload my face and make it a sprite. I could do that. Um, this one is a surprise, so just kind of random choice of one. Um, or I can paint, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click paint, and you'll see here costumes, costume one, and it's just waiting for me to get started. And so what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to take the circle tool and I'm going to create a simple circle like this, maybe make it a little bit more oblong. And because we're doing a lizard, I'm going to make it green. So I'm going to come over here to my green section. I'm going to saturate it to a little bit um, richer green and I'm going to make it a little darker. So something like that. It's a good green. Okay. And then I'm going to take the um, the points tool and click on it. And I've got currently I have four points that I can adjust, but I can make more by clicking on here, and these become adjustable points as well. So I'm going to take this one here, like that, and I'm going to make these ones kind of a little bit longer this way. Okay. And notice that each of these points also has little handles that you can adjust to make changes, further changes to your shape. All right, I will probably speed this video up just to show you that I'm gonna use this single shape to create the lizard that we need to make for part of our project. So here we go.
Okay, and just just to wrap up, I just want to make sure that everything was clear. You know, all, all I did was I took a single shape, I copied it, and I pasted it, and then I took that next shape, and I did a few things with it. I could have rotated it, I could have adjusted its size, I could have edited the points on the shape to give it a different kind of look and yet, you know, somewhat similar just because the entire lizard is green. If I were doing a different project, I might, of course, change color or change, uh, I might even make a whole new shape. But in this case, I was actually able to make everything starting from this original point. It stayed really simple. All right. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this uh, lizard and I'm going to make a second costume and so if I right click this or control click it I can duplicate and then now with that duplicate uh, costume I can take the entire lizard go back to my uh, pointer mode I will flip him um, horizontally and that gives us the second lizard and so in the next video we'll look at animation